One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's move on. Pop up for me, Zeph and Calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 ha, he, he. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. <laughs> you, you understood because my name is Jens Felo and Felo sounds so similar to fellow. <laughs> this is not meant to be a joke right here. So here at Papa Corp and Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar, we are taking things like this really serious and we're going to calculate four plus eight rigorously today. And I shit you not, most people have never calculated anything on natural numbers rigorously in their whole life. So that's why we are here. And well, it's pretty easy actually, and it's just going to take us 10 minutes probably. Be glad that we are not going to calculate one plus 900. It would be a fucking mess if you haven't introduced the commutativity on the natural numbers already. So, you know, on natural numbers, if you have watched my bachelor's paper series up until now, for every natural number n, for example, 7, there exists a unique successor of this number, which is nothing but n plus 1. In our case, 7 plus 1, this is just 8. So for most people, this holds that 8 comes after 7 for most people. Probably also for Papa Ababu. Papa bless Papa Ababu Mohammed, my boy. Okay, so you see, if we have the successor, then we also have our addition, which underlies two little rules. So if we take natural number and add zero to it, well, that's just natural number itself. It's as easy as it is. Also, if we add the successor of some number m to this number n, well, this is nothing but the successor of n plus m. Well, it's just as easy as it is. It's not really hard. And also for simplification purposes, if we have the successor of some number n, suck of n, you see this notation fucking sucks balls. Uh, it's just so good, it's such a fucking meme. <laughs> then we are going to denote the successor as just n prime. Also, if we have the successor of the successor of n, for example, we are not going to denote it as suck of suck of n. It double sucks. No, we are going to denote it by n double prime and also not by parentheses parentheses n prime prime that would be an absolute mess. So this is just what we are going to do and with those little rules we can already get started. So like I said, successor of 7 is nothing but 8. So we can rewrite this a little bit as 4 plus 7 prime. But this in itself is nothing but parentheses, parentheses 4 plus 7 but prime. Well, we can bring the prime to the outside you could say. So this is nothing but 4 plus 7 prime. Kudio, we have finished the first stage. Let's move on. 7 is nothing but 6 prime, successor of 6. So this is 4 plus 6 prime, prime. But this is nothing but parentheses, parentheses, 4 plus 6 prime, prime. But by this rule right here, this is nothing but 4 plus 6 prime, prime. Okay, let's move on. So this is nothing but 4 plus 5 prime, prime, prime. This is nothing but 4 plus, with parentheses, 5 prime, prime, prime. But this is nothing but 4 plus 5, prime, prime, prime. This is nothing but 4 plus 4 prime. You see, 5 is nothing, it's nothing but the success of 4. Prime, prime, prime. This is nothing but 4 plus 4, prime, 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 prime. This is nothing but 4 plus 4, parentheses, prime, 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 prime. Coolio, we already came pretty far. So you see, calculating stuff rigorously on natural numbers is really easy. Try out multiplying 4 times 8. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Such a cool task. So you see, this is nothing but 4 plus 3 prime. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is nothing but 4. That's a 4. Plus 3 prime. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is nothing but 4 plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, Coolio, let's move on. This is nothing but 4 plus 2 prime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is nothing but 4 plus 2 prime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is nothing but 4 plus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times prime. 6 times the successor. Im imagine writing this in this notation, successor of successor of successor. It's just so crazy. Okay, let's move on. This is nothing but, and we are really close to being done, actually. So maybe you have already noticed, so it goes really quick. So this is 4 plus 1 prime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Probably 6, yeah, 6. This is nothing but. 4 plus 1 prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
And this is nothing but 4 plus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's move on. Always someone is disturbing. Never mind, let's move on. So this is nothing but. And here comes the really cool part. This is 4 plus 0 prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is nothing but 4 plus 0 prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And maybe you can already see it, but 4 plus 0 is nothing but 4. And this is really cool. This, this is where this little rule applies. So this is nothing but 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But this is nothing but 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is nothing but 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is nothing but 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is nothing but um, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is nothing but 9, 1, 2, 3. This is nothing but 10, 1, 2. This is nothing but 11 prime, which is nothing but successor of 11. And this is 12. And then we are done. So you see, I'm quite euphoric when it comes to this because it's just so easy to calculate stuff on natural numbers. It's, it works like a charm. So you see, in the end we can indeed um, conclude that 4 plus 8 is nothing but 12. Cool here. So it's as easy as it is. If you want, uh, as a little exercise to the viewer, just calculate the thing I said in the beginning, 1 plus 900. Maybe you are going to be lucky and maybe you are done in the year 2020. I don't know. It takes ages. It's such a mess. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those trivia t-shirts I created. No, seriously, this one looks so good. I, I really love this t-shirt. And yeah, you can also support the channel on Patreon. If you don't want any of that, then just watch my videos. That's always such a good support. I love you guys. Appreciate it. And up until the next video, have a flumble day. See ya.